Farming is my job, and that is my office. I like farming. At the moment, I have seven acres of beans. I have seen the, that Farate from Nairobi University of Kenya Cheupe can do better than the ones we are planting before. The ordinary varieties had poor yield, a lot of setback with the diseases, and uh, after growing it with the hard labor, you go and fetch very little in the local market. These improved varieties from Nairobi University normally takes an average of 90 days to 105, as opposed to the other types we used to grow before, which takes from 120 to 150 days. And are drought tolerant to the extent that with the little rain we have, they will definitely grow to the end of the season. Developing a, a, a new bean variety is like the process, it's like designing a house. The East African region has been canning beans for nearly 60 years now, and there's been a single variety, the Mexican 142. This variety is obsolete now. This region lacked a bean variety that was tolerant to drought, that used more compared to what the industry has, and one that fully met the canning characteristics of the industry, and more important, the consumer sensory tests. These were issues. We started as an approach, you know, by, as a part of a request from the industry. They said, look, we're having enormous trouble get enough grain to process. We are the leaders in processing white beans. On a daily basis, one to one and a half tons of raw material. Up to towards the end of last year, 2013, we've been sourcing for beans uh, from Ethiopia through informal channels. They are purchased by agents who then uh, supply us. So we've not had any direct control of the quality of the raw material we've been getting. Also, the pricing sometimes is really fluctuating, so we cannot actually assure our market of a sustainable price of the products. The other challenge we've been having is that uh, the varieties of the beans we get are sometimes not desirable in terms of uh, the cooking time required. Then sometime in 2013, uh, Professor Kimani of the University of Nairobi approached us and told us that they have a project where they are developing uh, canned bean varieties that are tailor-made for the industry. When we were doing processing trials, the older varieties we were using, we were going up to one an hour, 40 minutes cooking time. With Kenya Cheupe, we've done between 60 to 80 minutes at most. So there's a great saving. In terms of fuel consumption, it's a great saving to us in monetary terms now. Also, the contracted farmers, we're dealing with them with this crop. Almost 80% of them are women. The woman drives the family economy. So when we are able to empower the woman economically, definitely it will trickle down to empowering the whole family. So, for the last about six years or so, we've been trying to develop a new range of canning beans. To start this whole process, we started by making crosses, hybridization between different parents. Then we developed what we call populations. From these populations, then you need to start selecting grain types or bean types that have the specifications that you need. The next stage is now the evaluation for the agronomic potential because obviously beans have to perform well in the field. And the other test that was critical is then by the industry themselves. We were supported by, by Innovate Network to improve the pilot plant where we were able now to do the testing, cooking the beans and putting them in the exact cans that they use in the industry. The next stage is very critical. Once these varieties are formally released in the law books as official varieties, we will start producing now the certified breeder seed. We need to make sure 
for this system to operate that we have adequate seed. <laughs> the problem on beans is uh, there are no certified seeds available. A certified seed which can go to the farmer. The farmer can get a reasonable assurance in terms of the yield. The canning company like Joro Canning can get the product at a right price. When you get the product at a right price, you have enough avenues to explore the additional avenues in the market. The demand is there. You want to test the prototype so that uh, you know, in the course of this year, we can go full blast to produce this grain. The proceeds I get from the beans for the last four years has helped me a lot because it has helped me continue paying the school fees for my grandchildren because the beans I'm growing pays me better than the ordinary one I used to grow before. When we are weeding beans, you can come, you get, I have 50 women and I have 12 women permanent. I'm blessed with nine grandchildren and they really appreciate grandmom because if they come at my place they eat beans they say glad mom is good because we never get hungry they say i'm a hard working grandmom